We're sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. What's up guys? Uh, my name is Tim, I'm a triathlete and I'm gonna be talking about shoes. One of the questions I get asked on a weekly basis, especially from starting runners, is what's the best running shoe for me? Is there such a thing as a best running shoe? So to help you guys out, I'm actually going to do a video about some of the best running shoes we have today and some of them that I have used, some that you should definitely avoid and stuff like that. So yeah, stay tuned. So to first start off, there is no such thing as a perfect running shoe. It just doesn't exist. Everybody has a different foot. Everybody runs different races. There is no universal shoe for everybody that's out there running currently. It just, it's not how the arm anatomy works. The perfect running shoe depends on the type of runner you are and uh, most importantly the distances you actually run and of course the small factor of what you find the most comfortable shoe to be for you everybody has a different selection so let's go over some of them every type of runner has a different running style and everybody has different needs in their run that need to be compensated or they have a pretty neutral run but for each of these running styles you have a different running shoe that's going to be accommodated for your run you have track shoes which i have no idea about because i don't run track you're gonna have to search it somewhere else your mid distance running shoe basically has a smaller sole so when you're running at a fast pace you're not going to tire your joints as much and you're going to have that extra bounce and reflection during the 5 or 10k events so they're going to be completely different for something that you're going to use for a marathon or a half marathon even the half marathon can be run on a minimalistic shoe but for a full marathon just wouldn't recommend it and you have your long distance running shoe so these are the shoes that you're going to use from your half marathon to marathons like half ironman ironmans because they have thicker soles and it's just way more comfortable to actually run in them also great for recovery runs and the shoes that you see in these categories are the asics the hokaonaone and the cloud uh, on cloud runners they're just amazing shoes for triathletes and these shoes are actually the most cushioned shoes so let's get over the shoes that I use. My current favorite shoe that I use for all my races is the Adidas Solar Drive. It's from 2018 actually, and it's one of the better models. I also did a promotion for Adidas for the Ultra Boost 2019 model. And while it is a good running shoe, it just didn't suit me. It was too comfortable. It didn't have that balance factor that I expect from a running shoe. I just wasn't that satisfied with it. Again, great recovery run shoe, but not the shoe that I would race in. Now the perfect winter running shoe for me is the Nike Pegasus 35s, the Shield Edition. It's just a great shoe that has a good amount of traction. It's not too heavy. It's very good for my long runs and my recovery runs, uh, which is basically the whole part of my uh, winter prep season. So these are my main shoes for this period and uh, yeah I'm gonna actually talk about them in this video so as an example I'm gonna use today today is a especially shitty day for running and for my gear I actually have a few layers that I can take off when I get warmer and for my shoes I have the Nike Pegasus 35s which are should be pretty suitable for this weather it's a shield version so they should shield me from the rain. Just finished my run and just how I said that waterproof shoes are amazing. They're still not 100% waterproof. Now as you saw, not completely waterproof, but for the most case, it's gonna serve you pretty well. Uh, I even do, did some trails in these shoes, they're very durable, I love the traction that they have in them and yeah it's a highly recommended shoe from me. For most people that are starting out the Nike Pegasus line is an amazing line of shoes that can offer a lot. 
Now for my 10k distance shoe, uh, in most cases, even though it's commercialized as a long distance running shoe, I have the Under Armour actual shoes. These are not bad by any means. I like them, I just don't feel very comfortable in doing half marathons with them because my joints hurt at the end. Now my go-to shoes for my triathlons in 2020 are actually gonna be the Clifton 6 from Hakanon. The answer might surprise you, but there are a multitude of reasons why I chose this shoe as my next race shoe. Number one for Ironman, having this much cushioning, it just makes a whole world of difference, especially after uh, 180 kilometers of bike. After doing my first Ironman, I saw how my feet reacted and how easily I can get tired and how my joints hurt. So I decided I'm actually gonna use something with more cushioning and sacrifice that explosiveness. Now the thing with the Clifton 6 is that actually I don't have to sacrifice that momentum. It has a pretty good explosiveness retained in them still, even though having such a large sole. Now with that being said, I cannot wait to go out and give these shoes now with that being said, I cannot wait to go out and actually try my best with these shoes in my next triathlon race, which is actually going to be in May. So I'm going to be doing a more in-depth review of these shoes. But yeah, for now on 2020, these are definitely the shoes that I want to use. And if you're doing an Ironman, not just from my experience, a lot of other triathletes have asked around, these are amazing shoes. So to actually conclude. There is no such thing as a perfect running shoe. It's all about how good you feel in a shoe and if it's comfortable to run a long distance in that shoe. There are some great recovery run shoes, there are some great marathon, half marathon shoes and you should definitely first try these out but there is no such thing as a perfect running shoe. Now what I can recommend is when you get your second pair of running shoes is to keep the first pair and actually use them for some runs and some occasions. That's gonna make sure that your joints are healthy and they get adapted to different kind of situations. And if you like this video and want to show some support, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Until next time, happy running. Uh...